Hello there. This is Charlie. I am now working on, I finished the front. I'm now working on this inside panel for an album. Um, Scrap and Create sent me the paper and I am doing my best to play with it in a, a, a great way because it's, they're not really my colors. So we'll, we'll see what I can do here. Um, so this is the inside left panel and I have put together so that this will end up looking like this when it's closed. Now I'm using a die, you don't have to, uh, but if you wanna use a die or a punch, um, that would be great if you could play along. Uh, my die is quite large. I mean, it's large, but I don't want that much hanging out. So I'm covering quite a bit of it up so that I can just have basically the floral tips. So you'll see where I've cut and angled um, when I'm uh, playing along on this. Now this front piece is out of the, um, hold on here just a second. This front piece is out of the uh, patterns pad. It's it's this piece that's here on the pad. And then the reverse side, this piece here, is the reverse that's over here. Uh, so let me put these back together because I don't want them mixed up. And what I also did was I went to the cut aparts and I fussy cut out one of the koi fish and put it down here because uh, this does look like it's a stream coming through here. So I put it down here as just a little accent. Other than that, nothing much, nothing fancy. And then on the inside here, I, I have this panel leaving it just what the way that it is. Again, nothing fancy, and I'm using another uh, border on this side as well. But in here, I took one of the 12 by 12 papers, and it's this one, and I have cut it so that it fits this panel completely, the left one, but on the right side panel, it was short about three eighths of an inch. So there is a 12 um, inch sheet that you'll be cutting. And then from it, I trimmed uh, three eighths of an inch of a piece and I've taped it in here and then patched it in because I wanted this all the way across. And then I've taken some red um, card stock with a little bit of colored pattern. And I'm just gonna add a pattern to this. Nothing fancy, there's not gonna be a pocket, it's just a break in the pattern. And I'm doing that for both sides. Then, using the same piece of paper, I have cut for the pocket. And then I've taken one of the cards, mounted it on some black card stock, and it will be going on here just like this. And then I placed a red gem on the front of it. So I will go ahead and start giving you some measurements here. Oh, and this piece. This is an eight by eight piece, but it was too short for the book. It was too short to fit in here. So what I did was is I cut these two red panels off and then I've taped them on to help fill in the gap so that it can go from top to bottom. So you'll find these um, on the eight by eight. There's a eight by eight piece of paper in, and I'm playing with two pads, so I took this strip off two of the papers 
they look like this. And then the strip is here in the middle to fill in for the gap. Then it adds a little bit of a decoration, a nice uh, different look to it. So this piece ended up measuring uh, eight and three quarters in length by eight inches across. My pocket is at two inches. And then if you're gonna uh, do a punch or a die, it could be any depth because I'm only showing just a, a little bit of it. Otherwise it would be way out here and I did not want that. Okay, so let's get some tape on this. Well, Just lay this down here. Well, my hands aren't all that steady. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and glue this into place. And then we're going to just kind of glue her in place right here. And I will glue this portion. Pinched it with my fingers where the edge was so that I know where to glue. side of this there we go all right so that's done let's go ahead and work on our left panel now it measures at six and five eighths there is a half inch score and a five eighths of an inch score Oh, <laughs> and I, I forgot what I was doing, and I was just taping along. I stopped over here, <laughs> so I have some extra tape back here that I had not intended on putting on, but I need to, I can't pull it all yet until I'm ready to tape the back. I found it quite funny. 
I always just have myself a grand old time. All right, I'm gonna push back against that 5 8 score mark so I can reinforce it. And before I do, I am going to need a couple of magnets. here a little bit and then I'm going to put in this page so I can seat the magnets now this piece here measures in at eight and seven eighths across with a half inch score and a five eighths of an inch score Kind of making a mess of workplace here now. Okay, same thing. Going to come up here to this half inch score line. I've got to pull these back just a smidgen. And then I'll take this. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to push back against the mark I'm gonna take the backing off of this magnet and then I'm gonna make sure that my gussets are standing up before I get this committed Now, this panel, because there is a magnet on it, and as my practice is, I'm going to have to retrim this. Interesting, what did I, how did I miss that? Wow, I missed that by a lot. Well, see, oh, I know, I know what I did. Oh, interesting. I'm really liking this scorched timber because it just works well with this. I just really like the color. Okay, so what I'm looking at here is I've got a 5 8 of an inch gusset. I had over trimmed my paper, so I've had to cut it down so that it would fit in here better. But now I'm gonna tape it down due to the magnet.
off that center piece. And I will use it All right, now I have taken uh, some of the red uh, cardstock and I've taken a strip out of my scraps to act as the break in pattern. And you have lots of room here to put a photo. You can still put a photo over this. It will just be a break in the pattern here on this paper. So I'm gonna glue this down giving best to try and center it top to bottom. And I'm looking to come in just a hair here, about 3 eighths of an inch. I don't want a big gap there. I'm just looking for an accent. And then this will go down just like that. You know, I, this is terrible. I don't know if this is right side up or upside down. I don't, let me look at some other images here. See if I can tell which way this goes. I, is this something? Oh, it goes this way. This image right here matches this image. So this, I was fine the way this was. Put this back down. Come over here to this side, and I'm going to do a dried measurement. I'm going to trim just a smidgen off, not much. Now, having patched this piece in, it may have been sufficient enough had I not cut this one so big. Um, so just be mindful of your measurements um, when you're cutting this. And it, just because I am doing this doesn't make me perfect. Put this down and then I'll lift to pull that tape off. But I want to get this in place. There we go. And then we're going to repeat the same for this side. And 
I'm going to come in just about 3 8 of an inch. Now, I want to make sure I'm putting this the right way. I, I'm, I apologize. I do not know how to read Japanese symbols, so I am going to need to be mindful of their position as I work through this. All right, so the inside panels are done. They're just basic, simple pa panels, photo opportunities, and then you've got a nice pocket. So let's go ahead and get this piece on. It will need to be taped. And I did trim across the bottom because I didn't want to lose any of this across the top. Just twisted that. I just twisted it when I put that down, and it's not going to sit right. Okay, I'm going to put this back down here. Still being there, we go. and then we have this piece here and I'll just glue this piece down there's no magnet involved and give myself some edge room here Okay, I would like to add just a little bit of sparkle to the front of this. So I think I'm going to take some Wink Estella. It's simple enough to add. Um, So that there's just just a hint I don't know if any if you have uh, one of these little glitter glue pins but they're sure nice for just adding something just simple to the front of it 
All right, so we have that done. Let's go ahead and let's get some tape on this now. And seeing how I have tape down there, um, I'm gonna just run it up here. And then I'm going to run a couple of strips down the middle. Give it a good burnish. Grab my album. And then we'll set this in here like so. Coming right up to the edge because I want to keep this out of that gusset. something else that I did and maybe you caught it but let me get this open here um, I'll burnish this and then I'll show you what I did and I did mark this so that I knew which way this piece went I also put Oh, I thought I did. I thought I put little breasts. Oh no, they're up here in the front. Wow, the heat must be getting to me. Goodness sakes. It's uh, 95 outside, but I don't have any AC in my craft room, so it's just a little bit stifling in here. But anyways, there we are, we're good to go. We've got this completed. Just a nice big photo opportunity. And I'll see you when we come back to do this one. Bye-bye.